Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123, back with another video, and I am very excited about this one. If you watched my kind of channel update earlier, well, this morning, the day I'm recording this, which is April 26th, you heard me mention that I was waiting for a package. Well, they're here, and I figured let's unbox and set them up. So... Let's see, I'll just show you what I have here. This is the box. Sorry, I don't have too much room on this. I'm using my nightstand as a table, but I'll tell you what this is in a minute. Well, you can see there's an Apple logo, so it's an Apple product. On the top there, too. Oh, and there's the writing on it. I got that perfectly. So. And, yep, there it is on that side, too. Let's turn it back over. So, this is a 2019 iPad Air. Been, I haven't had an iPad since the Mini 2, which I made several videos on. And, but I sold that a few years ago, and... I wasn't planning to get one, you know, until one came out that would meet my needs. I wanted to get something newer and better. And at the time, I needed the money, so I sold it. But I got this and one other item. I got the iPad and a smart keyboard. I've removed these, as you can probably tell, from the shipping cartons, just to make it a little bit easier. And besides, who cares? It's a shipping carton. Not something pretty and exciting to look at. But let's see about getting this iPad Air unboxed. And once we do it, I will go through the entire setup process with voiceover. So I'm just gonna put the phone down and see about getting the box started. Okay, so this will be an update. Got some of the plastic off. And as you could hear there, ta-da, we have it. And now I can lift this up a bit. Let's see, I better put the phone down again. I don't want anything. Here everything is. <laughs> wow. I'm so excited right now, guys. Um, if you can't tell from my voice, I really am. I've been waiting to do this for... Well, since it came out, I decided I'd wait till after my last classes as like a you survived the semester <laughs> like gift to myself. Um... Because who doesn't like getting new tech when they're when they have a break? I know I love it. Okay, so I'm going to lift. Oh, actually, let me see here. Well, I got the iPad out there. Okay, now I'm going to. Well, the iPad's in my lap, as you can see. But before we look at it, let's just see what else is here. Let's see if I can lift. Oh, okay, this must be some kind of documentation maybe and an adapt the adapter the charging like while well, adapter is under that I can feel it and the lightning cable and that's pretty much all there is to it let's get the box out of our way here is the iPad now I'm going to start to remove the plastic on it oh look at that Ooh, take a look at this, okay. Okay, we got 
got it. And oh my goodness, it looks good. So, I'm going to describe it as I see it. This is my first time looking at this, but I'm going to turn it and portrait with the home button on the bottom. So, on the top right, it looks like we have the lock button. Let's see. Yep, top right's lock, and then the volume buttons are on the right. The bottom, there's the lightning port and headphone. Uh, well, I don't know if the headphone's there actually yet. No. And the headphone is on the kind of the back side near the power button. Okay, let's talk about specs. This, so in case you haven't heard, the 10.5 inch iPad Air, um, it has a 10.5 inch screen, which you can see is pretty good sized and um, it has an a12 bionic chip which is the same chip that's in actually my iPhone 10r which I am filming on so you're actually watching my first video for the with the iPhone 10r first tech video anyway um, and this one has 64 gigabytes of memory and yeah, it's, and it's I got the space gray one, so I'll show you the back. That is good looking. So this is almost like the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. So this is kind of the replacement for it, and it's actually a bit cheaper than that was. This starts at 4.99, which is the one I got. But okay, enough talk. Should we see if this thing has power in it and set it up? Well, let's do it. Now, remember, um, for anyone that's not about to be using voiceover to set this up. So, all right, I'm going to press and hold the power button. Ooh, look at that. I'm sorry there's some glare, but maybe when the whole thing lights up, it won't be as bad. There's the Apple logo. And it has launched. Let me see if I can do something about the camera footage here. Move some stuff maybe over a bit. Eh, I can't really, but you'll be able to get the idea. If you've set up an iOS device, it looks the same anyway. So I'm going to press the home button three times. Voice over on. Portrait. Alert. Voice over gestures. Okay, I'm going to see. I'm just gonna put the phone down so I can adjust the volume. Turn that up a bit. Goodness, this thing is. Okay, so now we have a screen about voiceover gestures. So I'll just flick right. To go home. Slide one finger up from the bottom edge until you hear the second sound and lift your finger. To use the app switcher, slide up farther from the bottom until you hear the third sound and lift your finger. To use the dock, slide one finger up from the bottom edge until you hear the second sound, then swipe down to reveal the dock. If you move too far to the left or right, the gesture will be cancelled. To use control center, slide one finger down from the top edge until you hear the second sound and lift your finger. To use Notification Center, slide down farther from the top until you hear the third sound and lift your finger. I want to see if I can get that a little bit louder, actually. Voice over gestures. So while it's talking, I'm just flick to the left. I'm gonna flick right again. To go home, slide and... one finger up from the bottom edge until you hear the second sound and lift your finger. To use the app switcher, slide up farther from the bottom until you hear the third sound and lift your finger. To use the dock. Slide one finger up from okay, the bottom. Okay, that's better. So I'm gonna flip to the, the right. Okay. Button. And say okay. Açmak için ana ekran düğmesine basın. More info. More info. But press home to open. Button. Okay, so we're gonna press our home button to start the setup. Setup. English. Button. And it's we're at the language screen now, so it's asking us what language we want. English is the top option, so I'm just going to double tap that. English. Back button. 
I'm now going to flick it to the right. Select your country or region. Okay, so we have to do our country and region. United States button. And we are in the United States. So I'm going to double tap to select that. Ooh, nice. Oh. It set up manually. If you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11 or later, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. If you want, you can also set up this iPad manually. Okay, for this video, I'm going to set up manually, but that is a very handy feature. Um, I have actually... I did that with my 10R when I got it. But let's select... Set up manually. Set up manually. Button. Set back button. And... Choose a Wi-Fi network. I just touch the screen and we have choose a Wi-Fi network. So let's see what our choices are. Charlie Net. Secure network. Signal Charlie Net 5. Secure network. I'm going to select that one and double tap. Password. Secure text field. Is editing. Character mode. Insertion point at start. Okay, I'm going to type my password. And then I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so the password is entered. I will now... Feel around till I find well, join. the join button, which is on the keyboard. So I'll double tap that. Join. Oh. Back button. And we'll give it a second. Wow, this is actually pretty nice. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna flick to the right and see what's next going on. Next button. Oh, okay, this is the next button. Back button. It. Okay, what's the saying trying to tell us? Back button in progress. Okay. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. Okay, so now it's doing some kind of activation. Back button. Okay, so the screen is refreshed. Let's see what we have here. Personal data use. Icon. Okay, so a bit about personal data use. Data and privacy. This icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. You won't see this with every feature since Apple collects this information only when needed to enable features, secure our services, or personalize your experience. Apple believes privacy is a fundamental human right, so every Apple product is designed to minimize the collection and use of your data, use on-device processing whenever possible and provide transparency and control over your information. Okay. Continue. Button. Sounds good, I'll continue. Conti back button. Touch ID. Okay, so this does have touch ID. And personally, I say thank goodness. Use your fingerprint in place of your passcode or Apple ID password for purchases. Continue. Button. Let's set it up, so you can do that or... Set up touch ID later. Set up later, button. but let's do continue. it now. So we'll say button. continue. Cancel button. Place your finger. Okay, now it wants us to place our finger on the home button. So I'm going to use this finger. Oops. Okay, let me. Place your finger. Place your finger. And I'm just place your finger. placing it in or releasing. Place your finger. Place your finger. Place your finger. Cancel button. I'm experienced with this because I used to do this on my 6S. Adjust your grip. Keep going to capture the edges of your print. Want well, to keep going continue. to do the edges. Button. Continue. Cancel. Place your finger. 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 Complete. Touch ID is ready. And touch your ID can be used for unlocking your iPad. And touch ID is ready. Sorry about the iPod touch in the background there. Com touch ID is ready. Your a fingerprint that changes cup continue. Now we can select continue. Pass passcode. Zero of six values entered. Okay, it wants us to do a six digit passcode. Let's see if we can change that because I prefer a shorter one. So I'm going to flick right. Passcode options. Yes, Button. we can. Alert. Custom alphanumeric code. Do a custom Button. alphanumeric, it would be like a password. Custom numeric code. Numeric. Button. Four digit numeric code. Button. Num four digit numeric. Undo. Dimmed. Four digit numeric I'm gonna code. do a four Button. digit numeric. Passcode. Zero of four values entered. And I'm going to pick a passcode. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna put in the last digit. Six. 
Passcode. Zero of four values entered. Now it wants us to kind of confirm it, so I'll be right back. Okay, I just put in the last digit. Back button. And... Apps and data. Heading. Okay, we have apps and data settings. Let's see. That's a little bit better, maybe. Restore from iCloud backup. Button. Restore from iTunes back. Set up as new iPad. Move data from Android. But set up as new. What does restoring do? Your personal data and purchased content will appear on your device automatically. So I'm what going to select. Date, set up as new iPad. To set button. this up as a new iPad. So I will double tap. Set up back button. And let's flick to the right and see what it wants next. Next. Apple ID. Okay. Heading. Sign in with your Apple ID to use iCloud, iTunes, the App Store, and more. Apple ID. Email. Text field. Forgot pass your Apple ID is the account. Your Apple ID use different your oh. your Apple forgot pass email text field. Okay. Double tap to edit. So right now it wants my email address, so I'm going to type that and I'll be right back. Text field is editing email character mode insertion point at start. Okay, so I've typed my Apple ID, so I will now look for the return. Shit, return and double tap. Return. Secure text field. Is editing. Required. Character mode. And Insertion now, point at start. it's requesting my password for my Apple ID. So again, I will type it and be right back. Return. Okay, so I've entered my password and found return. I will double tap. Alert. Apple ID verification code. Now, I have two-factor authentication on my Apple ID. So what I need to do is I need to respond to this on another device. So I'm going to get my iPod Touch since we're filming here. So now it's giving me a verification code on my iPod Touch to put into the iPad. I will do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna put in the last digit of this code. Zero. Apple ID verificate in progress. Terms and conditions. Heading. And now we have to agree to terms and conditions. Let me just shut the iPod Touch off. And I will just say agree because agree. that's at the bottom. Because really, who reads these? So in progress. It may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Okay, it's setting up my Apple ID now, and I just tapped kind of the middle of the screen to make it read that. I'm just gonna put this back over here. In progress, it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Okay, we're still setting up the Apple ID. really awesome guys I'm looking forward to checking this out and once I use it for a week or so I'll come back with my review on express settings everything okay next screen express settings you can use the settings below or customize them individually Siri sends information like your voice input contacts and location to Apple to process your ask Siri and dictation requests Allow maps and other apps and help Apple improve. Allow maps and other apps and services like Find My iPad to gather and use data indicating your location. Help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage and data from your iPad. Learn more. Button. Continue. Button. Let's use these. Customize settings. Continue. Continue. Conti back button. Keep your iPad up to date. Get the latest features. Security and improvements by updating iOS automatically. Continue. Button. Continue. Continue. 3.13 p.m. Status bar item. Friday, April 26. Status bar item. Okay, I'm just going to touch the... 3.13 p.m. Fo photo of person using Touch ID with Apple Pay. Image. Okay, it's going to do Apple Pay Add stuff. cards to Apple Pay to send money to friends and make secure purchases in apps and on the web. Now I'm going to skip it if it will Card allow me. related information. Locate continue. 
But set up later in settings. Okay, we can Button. set up later in settings. So let's do that. Set up later in set. A photo of an iPad displaying screen time. Screen time. Heading. Okay, so now we have options for screen time. Get a weekly report with insights about your screen time and set time limits for apps you want to manage. You can also use screen time on children's devices and set up parental controls. Continue. Button. Set up later in set. Continue. I'll set Button. it up, so say continue. Back button. App analytics. Help app developers improve their apps by choosing to share app activity and crash data with them through Apple. You can about app analytics. Share with app developers. Okay, so we'll share Button. these um, development like information with the developers. So share. Share. Back button. And what's left? True tone display. Okay, we can turn on our true iPad tone. automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear consistent in different environments. See without true tone display. Continue. Continue. See without true tone. Continue. Let's continue. Button. Back button. With voice over quick access video. Quick access to the dock. Heading. Okay, so now it's going to give us some special voiceover stuff. With voiceover on. Slide one finger up from the bottom edge until you hear the second sound. Then swipe down to reveal the dock. With voiceover off, swipe up from the bottom edge to show the dock. Then release. Continue. Continue. Button. Back button. Video. Switch between recent apps. With voiceover on, slide up from the bottom edge farther until you hear the third sound to bring up the app switcher and dock. With voiceover off, swipe up further from the bottom edge. Then release. To show your recent apps. Okay. So just continue. Continue. Button. Back button. Goodness, there's another one it looks like. Video. Quickly access controls. With voiceover on, slide one finger down from the top edge until you hear the second sound to show control center. Slide farther until you hear the third sound to show notification center. With voiceover off, swipe down from the top right edge to open control center. Press and hold on a control to reveal more options. Continue. Button. And let's continue. Welcome to iPad. Okay, it says welcome to iPad. Get started. Button. And I'll double tap get started. Face. Well, would you look at that? We're done. And we're on the home screen. So I'm just going to see what's here. Let's flick to the right. Calendar. FaceTime. FaceTime. Calendar. Photos. Camera. Contacts. Clock. Maps. Home. Note. Home. Notes. Okay, it's a little sluggish. Probably do a few tap things. Double tap Reminders. Stocks. News. TV. iTunes Store. App Store. Books. Settings. Page 2 of 3. Adjust of page and 3 of 3. Other page. Wait, this whole other page. Let's see what's here. Tips. Tips. Podcast. Find my iPhone. Find my friends. Photo booth. Voice memos. Measure. Apple Store. Clips. Garage Band. Keynote. Numbers. Pages. iMovie. iTunes U. Page three of three. Adjustable. And the apps and messages. Docs, messages. Safari. Music. Mail. Files. All the important Double stuff is right open. there. So I'll just hit home. And Face I'm time. going to lock it. Now, quickly, I just want to see how well this works to unlock it. So I'll just unlock it with Touch ID. 3.17 p.m. Easy as Face pie. Time. Okay, so... Camera. Let's see how it's charged. I'm going to go to the top. 84% battery Oh, power. yeah, we're perfect. Not charging. Status bar item. 84%, so... Okay, so that is the unboxing and setup of the iPad Air. Now... You probably remember I have something else. I'm gonna put the iPad Air over here for a minute and let's unbox the smart keyboard. So I'm going to remove a lot of this um, plastic. It's actually coming off. Let me speak. Oh, there's a piece in there. This kind of. So, like the iPad box, this just peeled off. And now let's lift this up. 
I have no idea what this smart keyboard looks like because I've never seen one before. So let's... Okay, here we go. Let's swipe this up. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I'll put the, I'm going to put these on the floor, the packing stuff. And just like with the iPad box, we can lift that out. And I don't think there's anything else in here we need to worry about. Nope. Let's then unwrap the smart keyboard. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. So this is kind of like, well, let's see. I'll be right back. I'm just going to peel the rest of this off. At first examination, this looks like an Apple smart cover. Now let's try and attach it. I'm going to try and do that and I'll be right back. I'm as examining it, I'm kind of seeing that indeed we didn't open it all. Here's what the keyboard looks like. Well, that's it for now, guys. Just wanted to show you the keyboard and I'm going to go experiment with this some more and see how it goes. But I will do an update later once I have everything settled and I'll let you know what I think. So for watching guys and see you in the next video we hope you have enjoyed this video if so please subscribe for more and feel free to comment also you can follow me on twitter at gallagher123123 thank you for watching and we will see you soon